Okay, uh, sorry about the abrupt end on the last one. This video is running over than the 10 minutes that I wanted to stick with, but I guess there is a little more to CSS and div tags and what I expected I could do. So uh, we'll just continue on in this video. I'm, I'm pretty much almost done, and I'll, I'm going to leave off exactly where I was leaving off before. That was the end of that. And I wanted to move on to our next deal, and that's actual... Uh, go back to battle.php and scroll down a hair, and you'll get to where we, now we have our div ID equals player. Uh, we created a new div tag and everything between this div tag is right here. So where I end the div tag, everything that's printed out in between here is going to be inside this new div tag called player. If we go to our style.css, we have a div, div tag called player. And I made the left equals 400, the top equals 200. That means 400 pixels from the left, 200 pixels from the top, and then the width and the height is 450, 450, and the z-index is 3. Could have left it 1, 2, since there's nothing else there, but I went ahead and put it there. And that is actually what's giving us, let me make sure to refresh that we're even. That's actually, this, this div tag is this right here. So we're 200 from the top and 400 from the side. Is that right? Yeah. And if you notice, it's about in the middle because I'm actually at 800 pixels total. Now, someone who has a th uh, pixels, you know, the size of 1,024 is going to be even different. And someone who's all the way up to 1,600, it's going to be also set different. It's only going to be a quarter of the screen. So you got to kind of learn how to, if you want things in center, to center them. If you want things in certain places, to be able to put them in certain places. And there's a magic behind div tags that you'll learn as you go. We're not going to go into that now. Otherwise, it'll be no telling how many videos. But you can kind of see, and just to give an example of how these change, let's say we wanted to, to bring that, that tag over some, change it to 100, refresh, and this tag is now going to move over to here. And that's all that's, that's really to it. Real simple stuff. Uh, the next thing I wanted, wanted to cover, well, I had a lot of questions about a logout. Uh, if you notice here, I did put a logout here. Logout is really, really simple. Um, I create a new page called logout.php, start your PHP tag, and do your session start, session destroy, and session destroy is just the opposite of session to start, and that pretty much kills the session. And then you can put your little echo, thanks for playing, you know, log in, but log in back for playing. That's really it. Uh, there is a little more to that when you when you start wanting destroying cookies and other things, but for for now, for the for this right here that we're doing. Uh, we need to actually uh, fix that real quick. Okay, and f this this works for us for now. And let me let me shoot back to battle real quick. And at the bottom, if you notice, if you notice the div tag for that logout is at the very bottom, yet it's at the top of our page. Well, that's the good thing about div tags. It doesn't matter where you put them, as long as you put them inside this div tag, that's where it's going to end up. And if we go to our style.css, you'll see that I have a logout right here where I put the position of 10, 10 and then the width and the height is 150. So uh, that's basically how I got that. Like I said, this is really, really simple stuff. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you the logout, how it works on this. Just click your logout. It logs out. Thanks for playing. Back to login page. Bam. Uh, get that out of the way. And if you notice when we attack this is also centered, so I went to attack.php and I did the same thing. I include once our logo, so our logo is there. I put in our link to our style sheet and I did the same thing for our login too. I made sure to put in the tag and then for wherever our text is going to be. If you notice, I kind of did this different so you guys could see it. Our div ID login to starts up here, but I actually didn't end it until down here all this all these variables are inside there but it doesn't really matter because it's it's it, it does matter if you're wanting to try to, to to put things in place if in case there's an error or something like here but in our case there's not gonna we're not worried about that so I actually ended the tag down here there's no no text that's gonna that's gonna concern us one thing I will say if you notice how we're ending our tags and then we're coming into HTML and then we're starting our tags again this isn't like functions where you, you each variable has to be declared inside the function or in order to be able to work or you have to pass that variable to another function uh, unless you want to actually declare the variables outside the function and then they can be used in all variables and most that's most programming languages that's not the case Th this is not like that here I mean 
I'm pretty sure you guys figured that out, but I just want to make sure to make that note that these variables in here inside this PHP tag will st are still going to be used here. The page just runs down and reads it, and all the variables are used in all of them. Now, PHP is the same way when it comes to if I was to clear a function here, these variables wouldn't work in another function unless I passed them. But as far as the div tags or the PHP tags, you know, it's, it's through the whole page. The PHP just splits it so you can put in some HTML in there. And I hope I didn't confuse you all on that, but either. But and you'll 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 learn as we go when we start getting into the functions and stuff like that. Anyway, I, I I opened up the I put a div ID equals player. I'm not going to keep harping on this because this stuff really is simple. And I ended it right here with the div tag, and then I started on a creature, and that's how we got the two differences here. And that's that's basically it. That's all there is to style that CSS. And to uh, to div tags, they're really simple. They're a lot, to my opinion, they're a lot better than tables. Uh, we will go into more detail as we continue to go, but at least now I don't have to do so much explaining as we start adding pictures and, and new things like that. And because uh, this next video, we're going to get back into, we're going to start creating locations, trainers, spells, things like that, and we're going to start adding pictures and new div tags. And I just want to be able to point to them, and say, "Hey, new div tag," and go on, and we should all be good now. I don't think I missed anything. I think we're good now. I showed you the logout. I showed you the login page. Showed you the battle. So we're all good. And until next time.